Dr. Baruti, I give a word of care. This is my assistant, Angela Baruti. No, no experience. Okay, and we have a patient. His name is X. So, Mr. X is, how old are you, Mr. X? This is the 39-year-old man who comes to the clinic with three days of right hand and wrist pain and swelling. I'll show you his hand here. Okay. He also has dyshidrosis, so just ignore the dry scan here. And this is the swelling right here. And if I push, it hurts. Ouch. Not as bad as that time. Okay, not as bad. Okay, so Mr. X, he actually has a diagnosis of tenosynovitis. Okay. Now, if he had his symptoms here where the tendon was inflamed, I'm sorry, here, it would be de Kervain tenosynovitis. But this is just tenosynovitis of the digit 2 and 3. Okay. So what we're going to do is a steroid injection into the tendon sheet. All right. So I'm going to have my assistant give me some gloves. And we're going to inject a mixture of the steroid is dexamethasone, 8 milligrams. We're going to mix it with 6 milligrams, I mean 6 cc's of lidocaine. I'm sorry, 8 cc's of lidocaine, 2%. I'm not going to use a strong, long-acting steroid because I don't want him to have cutaneous or skin problems like ulceration of the skin. Okay. I'm going to put it in my face first. Okay. This is iodine. So we're going to scrub the skin with iodine. It's not a good idea to introduce bacteria under the skin. Okay. Watch this here. Okay. I'm not going to introduce bacteria. Right here. Then I'm going to wipe with alcohol. Okay. Now, the whole point, this is the 27-gauge needle. It's an inch and a half. The whole point is to get the tip of the needle in the tendon sheath. Okay. So I'm going to withdraw the plunger, make sure I'm not in the blood vessel. And then I'm not. Notice as I push, you have swelling going forward, but the needle isn't that long. That means I'm in the sheath. 